So I have an issue with horror movies as of lately. I've been on two dates in the last month or so, and both were around watching horror movies. So the, a few weeks ago, I had come back from Mexico. I went on a date with this guy. We went to his house, and we watched The Possession. Now I'm going to give you the rundown of this movie. There was this little girl and this little Jewish family, and they moved to a new house. And they found they were like walking through a yard sale, and they found this box. Okay, had a bunch of like Jew weird writing all over it. So she picks up the box. She's like, oh, dad, I want this box. Nah, can we get it? And he was like, I don't know if it opens. And they couldn't open it. Da, 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 da. So <coughs> they get it home or whatever. And mind you, before even all that happens, when the girl picked it up, there's like this old woman in the window across the street. And she's like, no, don't do it. There was this Gerard Butler looking dude in it, but I'm not sure what his name was, but he looked like Gerard Butler, so it was like super... Mm. She gets it home or whatever, and then the first night, she wakes up in the middle of the night, and something is calling her name. Emily. Emily. And she uh, wakes up, and the box is like glowing on parts of it. Like, it's just glowing. And so she goes over and tries to open it up, but can't get it opened. Closes her eyes, goes back to bed. The next night, same thing. Starts calling her name. She finally gets it fucking open. And all this sort of crazy shit's inside of it. A few uh, days later or whatever, her dad was calling her, calling her, calling her. He wasn't answering. So she open, he opens up her door and there's like bugs just all covering the walls, covering her, flying out of her mouth and the box. It was crazy. Demon came from the box. So they're trying to put this demon back in this stupid box. Uh... She's like, the, the the rabbi is like doing the ceremony over her body and she's convulsing like every other possession movie you've ever seen ever. And then the Torah like flies out of his hand and everything's going crazy. The girl's missing. It's fucking pitch black. Lights come back on. She's on the ceiling fucking choking people, whatever. And then it, the, the dad's like, give it to me. Do it to me. And it goes into him. Almost kills him. Then they get it back in the box. The priest takes the box and throws it in a river. That's the premise of that movie. Fucking stupid. Don't watch The Possession. It's a waste of an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. And did Shannon even get any action in that hour and a half? Of course not. With the Evil Dead was another guy or whatever. <clears throat> But pretty much the premise of this was that it starts off and there's like this flashback scene and it's like a church and like weird disfigurement people and like, ugh, ugh, it was nasty. But they had this girl up on the cross and the devil's like screaming at her and it's like she all burned up and whatnot. And then they light her on fire and they shoot her in the face. She's like, I'm sorry, honey, and shoots him in the face. Then cut present time. This whole group of friends goes up to this cabin that her grandparents owned or something like that or their parents or whatnot doesn't really matter they go up to this cabin and he, the main girl uh mia is like a fucking addicted to drugs and she needed she was like using this weekend to like do her clean out and whatnot so at the very beginning of the movie they were like she's like has a little baggie of some white stuff i'm going to assume it's methamphetamine i don't know it could have been coke could have been sugar. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's methamphetamine. So she has this little bag of meth and she's like, I'm done with you forever. I'm never coming back. Dumps it down a well. She's going through a withdrawal or whatever and she says it smells like something's dying. Like there's just like just death smell all around her. So they pull up this rug and there's a secret door. So they stupidly open the fucking door and go down there. And what is it? It's a bunch of like cats, like dead cats hanging up and like a bunch of other dead animals. And then there's this thing that's like wrapped in plastic and barbed wire. Now, people that have seen exorcism movies before know that that's not, you don't know. You don't touch anything when you come into a room like that. You just kind of like, oh shit, leave it, burn the house down, let's get the fuck out. Now... Knowing this, they were like, oh no, she's, you, we just have to stick it out. Don't let her go home. She's just got to work out this withdrawal, blah, 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 blah. One crazy dude with like long hair and glasses or whatever is like, oh, I'm curious. I'm going to look at this little package thing. So he's sitting there and he's not really screwing with it or whatever. And then he like gets to him and he starts like, he takes like a pair of wire cards and starts cutting the barbed wire and like opens it up. And it's like a book. It's like a big, big devil worshiping book. Stupid fucking white people. Stupid fucking white people. So while that's going on, this Mia girl's getting fucking possessed. She goes to take a shower, 
turn and the demon makes her turn it all the way hot and there's like five to fifth degree fucking burns on her skin it's not all sorts of nasty and then she's sitting in the corner like rocking like every other possession movie you've ever seen fucking retarded the only good part about this was the very end when he was like burying his sister and he was like i'm sorry mia i'm so sorry and, like, every time that the demon, like, bit somebody, if the demon, like, transferred to them, but it was still fucking stupid. The only thing that was even remotely interesting about that was, like, it was just extremely gory and retarded. And I'm really glad I did not have to pay for either of those movies. Because if I did, I would be going to the front desk and being like, bitch, with, like, my money back. But, yeah, so don't ever, I'm really just over horror movies. And until you can come up with a plot that is intriguing... And is going to trick me and give me nightmares. I um, I'm good. But nice try. Bye. Mm -hmm.